This impressive looking map by Yanzel is D Castle and was part of Operation Breakout all those years ago in 2016. Half of the map is set around the castle, the other half in some impressive looking caves. A classic video game level, if ever there was one. But did you know that it is based on a real castle, situated in Slovenia? This is a country situated just to the right of Italy. I travelled to Prediama Castle, the largest cave castle in the world, to see how the video game version compares. And here's the castle, in real life. From the outside, it's impressive how similar they are. D Castle has remained very faithful to real life. The number of windows and their positions are almost identical, and aside from some parts of the castle being stretched out or simplified, most likely in the name of gameplay, you'd be hard pressed not to recognise one version if you knew the other. The area surrounding the castle has changed a lot. As impressive as the surrounding cliff is in game, real life is bigger and better. The 123 metre high cliff stretches up well beyond D Castle's version. And it drops down far further, too. It was difficult to get footage showing this, but the drop down below the castle goes down a long, long way. Halfway between the castle and the bottom was another walkway leading to some of the caves below. Also not shown on this map version. Reality has a lot more caves, and they look more cavey too. In the 80s movie, Armour of God, Jackie Chan abseils down into this cave above the castle. In case you ever wanted to know that. Evergreen trees have been used in the map, but in reality they're the types that lose their leaves in the winter, making the place look dead and barren. Had I visited in the summer, it would have looked a lot more inviting. And now the elephant in the room. There's a castle in the level that doesn't exist in real life. In game, this leads up and to a back area where the terrorists spawn, and it all forms the B side of the map. As you can see, there's no way that this could exist in real life. There's no space for it, what with this cliff face extending out so far. And yet, it's so brilliantly executed in game, I found myself doubting reality when I was there in person. Maybe there is a bit at the top of the cliff like this. Maybe there is another castle hidden away somewhere that I'm not seeing. But Google Maps shows that there's nothing behind this cliff face, apart from a load of woodland. So yeah, we can dismiss half this map as being from Yanzel's brilliant imagination. Here's a view from the castle. The distant forests are quite faithfully represented, but it's clear the town is radically different. And although it wasn't the clearest of days when I visited, I highly doubt there are mountains like this visible from the castle. And in reality, at the foot of the cliff, there's a well-defined valley with a river running along the bottom, which isn't shown in the map at all. Let's go inside. In reality, you can visit pretty much every room in the castle, while in-game it's limited to just a few corridors and rooms. You're given a contraption that gives you an audio tour, but you're free to go where you like and as you please. It being winter, there weren't many people there at all. It's nice to see a similar sign in the entrance room, and there is a cannon similar to that shown in-game, only it's in the next room along and more brightly coloured. And this rather plain little room is actually a large open courtyard, with several walkways above the opening at the top. Some work was being done above the castle, and bits of ice would occasionally come shooting down into this area while I was here. Above the main entrance were several rooms full of information about the castle's history and how it has been developed over the centuries. I spotted a coat of arms, which was nicely recreated for D Castle. The rest of it is pretty much a maze of stairs, rooms, caves and corridors, but even the interior of this castle is exposed to the elements. Between the rooms there are numerous open courtyards, and even many of the rooms have resigned themselves to being cold, with huge gaps between the roof and the walls. And on the top floor, there's a big open room for shooting people from, which there isn't in the map. But if you go through this hole in the wall here, there's a big drop that goes all the way down to the dungeon at the bottom. Yes, that's right, a dungeon. Something else D Castle doesn't have. Despite it being a castle and all, the biggest battle it faces is against Mould. It turns out that building a castle within a cave makes this a huge problem. Some of the rooms are literally half castle, half cave. Some others have grooves etched into the rock face to collect fresh drinking water. And these massive tapestries covering the walls aren't just there for show, they're to try and soak up some of the moisture. But despite these measures, the furniture here still rots at an alarming rate. This is one room that appears in the map. The same chairs and table are used, and there's even a large red hanging rug to soak up some of that damned moisture. But in game, there's a door here that doesn't exist in real life. Oh wait, it does. Although in many ways impractical, being a castle cave also has its benefits. It makes for an excellent fortified position. There are caves leading to hidden exits on the far side of the mountain, which allow for supplies to be delivered even when the castle was under siege. 
In the kitchen is a huge hole in the floor leading to a cold cave beneath. This could have been used to dangle food down to preserve it, though the kitchen in the map bears little resemblance to this. And yes, if you use this toilet, your poo plummets out of the castle and into the valley far below. Toilets play a large part in this castle's history in fact. Legend claims that the lord of the castle was betrayed by his own men, killed by a cannon that was fired into this outhouse while he was inside using the toilet. It's nice that you can visit this room in game, and there's even what looks like a toilet right there in case you want to relive a little bit of history. I was unable to reach this, it was cordoned off when I visited, though I thought I recognised the corridor leading to it, so here's a side by side with the version in game. And yes, at the end there's a cave leading off to the right. In reality this curves up and to the left, but in game it leads off to the right and into the upper part of A. But is this where Bombsite A is in real life? I'll have to revisit during the summer to find out. It being the winter months, sadly my access to the caves was limited, but I was still able to reach the main one. There's a lot of artistic license here, but if you enter the castle, go straight ahead and up these stairs, in game this is where it ends, but switch to real life and from here there's another flight of stairs that leads up to the left. If you go up here and then up another wooden flight of stairs, you reach the very top floor of the castle, and then there's this walkway here that leads into the cave itself. I wonder if Bombsite A was loosely based off this area, from this point you can certainly see similarities, but in real life it feels very different, being higher up than any of the castle is and leading off deep into the cliff, rather than remaining quite shallow and connected to the rest of the castle. I'm guessing that at this point, gameplay was more important and this area of the map was designed to cater for CSGO, rather than to remain faithful to reality. Unfortunately, this was as far as I was able to go. I thought that maybe, had I been able to go further, that the rest of the map would suddenly make sense. Maybe the truth was just around the next corner. Of course, there's an easier way of knowing. I added Yanzel and asked him. I will say that everything up to this point was from my own research from obsessing about this for days and comparing the map and footage taken from the real place in great detail, which made his answers all the more valuable and surprising. Yes, Bombsite A was inspired by the main cave. The connecting cave tunnels were made up, and the distant mountains were from this picture, taken by Anzul, of a mountain in the north of Slovenia, which makes sense since this is where the country borders Austria, which is known for having a few of those. And as for how well he knows the castle, he visited once, years before developing the map. He used what he could remember, accompanied by pictures found online to help create it. Oh, and the whole Bombsite B area was made up as well. When it comes to the caves, he thinks he might have visited the caves beneath the castle, but on the same trip, he also visited somewhere else. And this place may have been a bigger influence. 10 kilometers away is Poistoina Cave. I got to explore these, and they were spectacular. You get a long train ride in, do you know when you ride something and they remind you to keep your limbs inside the carriage? Yeah, you really want to do this here or else risk losing them as your carriage enters a tunnel. Apparently, it isn't always lit like this. I visited around Christmas time, which is why it's lit up in a way that would make a Razor peripheral proud. After a few minutes, you get out and walk through several huge caves, and they are massive. They stretch on into the distance, then just where you think they end, you notice black holes leading to more beyond. Honestly, video doesn't do this place justice nor did the pictures I tried to take. The scale was stunning, like something out of Dear Esther, but larger. And although Slovenia was regularly sub-zero when I visited, these caves were a comfortable nine degrees and are all year round, which makes them a lot more cozy than the castle was. He also started work on a map based in these caves, initially intended for Left 4 Dead, but it was too much work. Here's a picture of it though. And here was another picture from the start of the Left 4 Dead campaign before the map became D Castle. Having been to Slovenia, I fully understand why Janzel was inspired to create a map based in and around the cave castle. It's no easy task to create a playable map that so closely represents reality, but he's done a great job with D Castle and I've enjoyed making a comparison between it and reality. I don't think this map will need a remake anytime soon. But if you're looking for map ideas that haven't yet been done, there's always Lake Bled. <laughs>